Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Mark here at Rainmakers Customs. And today we've got uh, John, the two watt walkie talkie. We've got your amplifier done, big guy. Figured I'll do a quick uh, YouTube video here. I'm going to do a walkthrough real quick with you again, just like I did on Facebook. Go ahead and kind of show you around a little bit as far as on some of the features with this. Okay, this amplifier actually features something kind of unique as far as the biasing system. It is a B class B amplifier. We've actually got everything set up for independent all the way across for your B biasing. This amplifier is B biased all the time. So whether you're on AM or you're on uh, CW, it's going to work in both fashions. We do have a switch. We'll go ahead and get this labeled up uh, yet this evening for you. Your first switch, obviously, is going to be your standby on and off. Your second switch, which is yellow, that actually is going to be for your sideband delay. Is what that's going to be. In. So, I'm going to walk this through here with you kind of quick. Like I said, we've got everything set up. Uh, we went ahead and used uh, all good heavy duty parts in this. Uh, so, we've got the large uh, output tuners here in the back as far as your capacitors. We've got the large uh, tuning choke here in the back, or the tuning capacitor, excuse me, uh, here in the back for you. 30 amp relay your HG 2879's that are in here. Okay, so what we're going to do is this off to the side for the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the amount of drive that we're going to be putting into this. We're only going to be putting approximately 100 watt bird into this as far as on the RMS. We're using a two pill HG2290 amplifier, two pills. So like I said, about a hundred bird is all we're gonna be putting into this thing. So we've got our thousand watt slug and average. This is gonna show you your RMS going into the amplifier. Let's see if we can't take some of the lighting here off of that. easier to read hopefully. So it's a thousand watt slug so it's going to be our bottom scale. This is all the drive we're putting into it. Hello audio audio radio audio. So 100 watt bird. 2500 watt slug is going to be in our peak position here. 1x. Hello, radio. Audio. So, approximately 250 watt PEP going into it. 100 watt bird. Go ahead. Turn the amplifier back on. here where you can see both of the scales. We'll get a camera to hold. So we'll shut up this other light, see if that helps bring that down just a little bit. I'll try to take some of the glare here off the lights, guys. Off the meters. I'll try to get both of these in. I want to try to get both of these in here at the same time for you. It looks like it's not going to happen. All right, so we're going to show you the thousand watts RMS to start with. Thousand watt slug and average. Hello radio. Hello audio. So 
So we got 700 bird. And our PEP, remember, 2500 watt slug. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. 1600. Our output reflect, 5 watt slug in reverse. Hello, audio. So we've got one watt reflect in reverse. This is our 5 watt slug between the radio and the amplifier. So this is your input tune. Hello, audio. Audio. So you've got about a half watt reflect on your input. All right, John. Hopefully, you love your amplifier there. I said, you know, I think you're going to enjoy this very, very much, big guy. Um, also, I'll show you here. We get our tops laid out on there real quick. Okay. All right. We're actually running two 75 CFM fans directly into this, so you've got a total of 150 CFM going into this box as far as to help keep it cool. We use the metal grills on this one for you, so we've got plenty of airflow as far as coming out the back. And no longer what we've ran it, we've already got a little bit of heat coming out. So uh, this is going to be your uh, serial number for the back of your amplifier. We can get this to focus in. If we move it here, we can see what it is. Okay. Try to get some glare off of it. So this is going to be your serial number, big guy, for your amplifier. This number is also inside the amplifier. This is your warranty stickers. warranty label number on it. It's also located on the inside. It's also dated, uh, which is today's date, January the 18th. So just wanted to kind of give you a quick uh, preview of this and what's going on. But uh, John, you're ready to come get this thing, take it home and enjoy, big guy. I'll tell you, I've enjoyed this build for you, and hopefully we've got another big one coming up for, coming up soon. Thanks, everyone.